Hello people, in this video we want to look at hepatic encephalopathy. Encephal means what? Brain, correct? Encephal refers to your brain. Now there is some problem in the brain, pathy, encephalopathy and this is because of liver. So this is hepatic encephalopathy. First of all, what ha what was the liver supposed to do? Liver is supposed to, uh, was supposed to take all the, the blood from your intestine etc. With, uh, so from the superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein, all the blood is supposed to go to the liver and the liver's job is to detoxify. What is the liver supposed to do? It's a very good guy. It's going to check everything that is coming into the body, whether it's fine. Every, whatever is fine, then only it will send to your heart through the inferior vena cava. Correct. So where is it going? To the heart. So it will not allow any toxin to reach the heart. So that is the job of the liver. Right. So uh, now what will happen? If somebody has a alcohol problem or for whatever reason this liver has become cirrhosed. Now when liver becomes cirrhosed, what will happen? There will be portal hypertension. So the blood pressure in the portal vein will increase. That is this one. Here you have the portal vein. In this the blood pressure will increase because there is cirrhosis of the liver. Correct. So when the blood pressure increases, that is portal hypertension happens, there is a portosystemic shunt that happens. What is this portosystemic shunt? Instead of going via the liver, the blood starts flowing directly into the systemic circulation. Now what will happen? All the ammonia and lot of other neurotoxins will reach the brain and it will lead to hepatic encephalopathy. So this is what is hepatic encephalopathy. So what is hepatic encephalopathy? It is neuropsychiatric syndrome caused by liver disease. What are the toxins? Ammonia, gamma aminobutyric acid that is GABA as a mediator, octopamine, amino acids, mercaptans, fatty acids as neurotransmitters. Okay. So what will the symptoms in these people be? The symptoms in these people will be delirium, coma. Okay. So basically you will tell delirium, coma. <coughs> You can see the progression here, grade 1, they have poor concentration, slurred speech, slow mentation, disordered sleep rhythm, grade 2, okay, then it's becoming a little more serious here, grade 2, drowsy but easily rousable, occasionally aggressive behavior, lethargic, grade 3, marked delirium, drowsy, sleepy but response to pain, voice, pain and voice and gross disorientation, gross disorientation is there in what? In grade 3, then coming to grade 4. Grade 4 is unresponsive to voice, may not respond even to painful stimuli, is unconscious, unconscious. Grade 4 is unconscious. See this man is sleeping here, unconscious man, grade 4. Okay, so this is the clinical grading of hepatic encephalopathy. So you have understood this hepatic encephalopathy. Now let us look at the treatment management. How will you manage? So what investigations will you do first of all? Clinically you can do. You can check an electroencephalogram, etc. So basically what is happening in these people, you have to add one point here. The blood-brain barrier is destroyed. Blood-brain barrier, right? Blood-brain barrier function is disrupted. disrupted. So that is why that will lead, it, all the toxins will go to the, all the toxins will go to the brain. So let's put it here. Blood brain barrier is disrupted. Okay. And these people will have what? Cerebral edema. These people will have <coughs> cerebral edema. Okay. So we have told you about the clinical grading. Now let us go to the treatment, management treatment. So whatever is, uh, see this uh, a press, hepatic encephalopathy can have some precipitating causes. Okay. So some drugs that he is taking like sedative. So what will happen? Same sedation only is increasing here. Dehydration, uh, portosystemic shunting, infection, hypokalemia, constipation, increased protein overload. So uh, protein overload, protein load is a bad thing in these people. Okay. So um, <coughs> that's what they said, right? Ammonia, um, um, amino acid, all those things. So these can be the cause, precipitating cause. So remove the precipitating cause. Okay. Otherwise, how, how will you treat? You can give them, we are talking about hepatic encephalopathy. Lactulose you should give, okay. 
So basically this is talking only about what is it? It is an osmotic laxative. Right? It's an uh, having an os osmotic laxative effect. So what it will do? It will limit the absorption of ammonia. Limit the colonic ammonia absorption. Right? And also it will promote the incorporation of nitrogen into bacteria. Nitrogen will go into bacteria. So ammonia is what? In H3, right? So that's what? So if you are diverting nitrogen, so less nitrogen, less ammonia, right? What is the other drug? Rifaximin. So this is a non-absorbed antibiotic. What is this? Non-absorbed antibiotic. That means it will be in the colon only, right? So it will reduce the bacterial content of the bowel and it is effective. But really you didn't understand how reducing bacterial content will help. Okay. Because uh, you want to increase the bacterial uptake of nitrogen, right? And then you want to throw it out as a bacterial content of bubble. Okay. Then finally, you can talk about liver transplant. Okay. So that the filter fellow will come, detoxif detoxifying fellow will come and detoxify all the toxins. Okay. So this is the treatment for hepatic encephalopathy. Don't forget lactulose and Rifaximin, okay. <clears throat> Liver transplant, you will write, I'm sure. So, precipitating cause you have to remove. So, why didn't the whole problem start? Because of the portal hypertension. So, you'll have to fix the portal hypertension. So, stop drinking. So, what and all are the causes of portal hypertension? That you have to fix. What are the causes of portal hypertension? Because of some obstruction in the portal vein, right? Some neoplasm in the portal vein, some Bucciari syndrome, hepatic vein is blocked, right? Cirrhosis of the liver, fibrosis of the liver, congestive heart failure, pericarditis, <coughs> hepatoveno occlusive disease. So these are the causes that started off this entire problem, right? So all that you'll have to remove. So in this video, you have understood hepatic encephalopathy. Bye-bye.